Oppenheimer. 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 Maria, I see Oppenheimer. I could deny it, but I have been dreaming about this moment for so long. Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. <laughs> Uh, movies are just a little bit over 100 years old. I mean, imagine being there 100 years into painting or theatre. We don't know where this incredible journey is going from here. But to know that you think that I'm a meaningful part of it means the world to me. Killian Murphy. We made a film about the, the man who created the atomic bomb. And for better or for worse, we're all living in Oppenheimer's world. So I would really like to dedicate this to the peacemakers everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be the Robert Downey Jr. I'd like to thank my terrible childhood <laughs> and the Academy in that order. Oscar goes to <gasps> Billie Eilish and Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much to the Academy. I feel like I I, I don't I. <laughs> I just didn't think this would happen. I was not expecting this. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. Costumes. <laughs> they are so important. And we're so. Um, my dress is broken. I think it happened during I'm Just Ken. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Dave Vine. <laughs> for, for so long, I've always wanted to be different. And now I realize I just need to be myself. And I thank you. I thank you for seeing me. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still watching. Isn't it past your jail time? <laughs>